when we talk about the portfolio of options that you have for your fallback, there is one thing that can really strike out a lot of those options, and that is the compatible parameter. It can really have a limiting effect on the amount of fallback options you have at your disposal. But what does the compatible parameter actually do? Its most important job is to restrict the use of new features. For instance, we introduced long identifiers in 12.2, and in order to use uh, that new feature to give your table a very long name, 120, 28-ish bytes, you would need to raise the compatible parameter. Blockchain table is another example of something that requires a change to the compatible parameter. When you change the compatible parameter, it then also changes some of the undisk structures. The redo log format is slightly changed, Table space headers doesn't look the same after you've changed the compatible parameter. And the contents of the data file is also changed when you raise the compatible parameter. If you want to know more about the compatible parameter, I suggest that you look in the upgrade guide, which has a little more detail about it. One very crucial thing about the compatible parameter, especially in this context of fallbacks, is that you can only raise the compatible parameter. So when you talk about fallbacks, since you cannot turn it down, since you cannot set it to a lower value, that's very important for a fallback. And it actually kind of makes sense that you can only raise the compatible parameter. If we use the previous example of the long identifiers, if you have raised the compatible to 12.2 and started to use long identifiers, how on earth should you then set the compatible, level, uh, compatible parameter to a lower level what should then happen with those long identifiers? So it's very important to remember that compatible can only go up. And also very important that when you change the compatible parameter, you are then, re you are then limiting yourself because you cannot use flashback database or downgrade afterwards. So remember, I told you that compatible was a limiting factor on your portfolio of fallback options. Here, we have flashback database and downgrade that you can strike out the very second that you change the compatible parameter. We recommend that you change the compatible parameter after an upgrade, but you wait one or two weeks. But why one or two weeks? Well, after one or two weeks, you hopefully have a pretty good idea of whether your database is performing well on this new release it gives you enough time to determine whether or not a downgrade is needed. But you can actually wait longer. I know of customers that prefer to wait until certain business critical events has, has passed, like for instance, Black Friday. And even after months or years, if you haven't changed the compatible parameter, you can still downgrade the database. <laughs> 